Hello everyone, this is Bobby from Shining 3D and today I'm going to show you the multifunctionality of iScan Pro HD Scanner. I will separate scanning this bottle into two parts. Use handheld scan mode to scan the bottle body while use the fixed scan mode to scan the bottle cap. Ok, now let's start. Start from handheld scan. We select handheld HD mode. Create a new project group. Choose normal operation mode. Select features alignment mode. Then set the resolution. Here we select 0.2 mm. Texture is not needed here. Next, we enter the scanning interface. Press the start button, adjust the distance and brightness in the preview. During scanning, keep scanner cameras looking straight at the scanning area. When the scanning is finished, Press the start button again to pause. Delete the redundant data. Click optimize and generate point clouds. To scan the bottom side, I'm going to create another project. Put the bottle down on the turntable table and make sure you can see the whole bottom side. We need to scan one side of the bottle as the common part for alignment of the two projects later. To get the data more complete, create one more project and adjust the placement of the bottle for scanning. After finish the scan, click alignment and select the projects in the floating windows. Here we can align by features on the common side, otherwise choose three common points manually in the both floating windows for alignment. Match the data after finishing the alignment, choose semi watertight on the mesh setting. And small holes on the model will be filled. Turn on the recommended parameters button. The software will automatically set the parameters for you according to the point clouds you get. Here you get the mesh data. Rotate the model to see if the data quality is perfect for you. Click confirm. Now scan the cap of the bottle. Let's see the performance of ProHD Fixed Scan. We enter the scan interface. Choose turntable alignment. Set scan steps and adjust the turntable speed in case object move during scanning. Press the start button to start scanning. It should be noted that relative position of the scanner and the table cannot be changed afterwards. Delete the redundant data after finishing one turn scanning.
check the data, turn over the bottle cap, and proceed a second round scanning. The two round data will be aligned automatically by the features. Click Optimize and Generate Point Clouds, then match the data. Choose semi watertight model on Mesh Settings. We see the data quality is quite good, and the detail is better than that scanned by handheld mode. After import scan data, the first thing to do is align the scan data. Since the part is symmetrical, the most important datum is the symmetry plan. Manually rough to find the plan, then use rebuild to calculate the fine position. Extract the bottom surface and the top revolving axial. Datum can be aligned with the three features. Create a 2D sketch for the top revolving part. Quick surface can automatically fit lines and trim fillet based on scan data reference. Revolve the sketch to get the surface. Use new freeform tool to construct the whole surface. Check symmetry to help save time for the other side. Use duplicate handle on surface edge to create a cord surface one by one. Bridge the end to form the loop. Set center line to the symmetry plane. Increase resolution for better quality. Do the same for the other surface. The full outer surface can also be built with a new freeform. You can align curve to horizontal or vertical. Turn off the step mode and smooth the whole area to release the surface layer. You can switch to color map to check the surface quality. Increase the resolution without snap mode to avoid whole area snapping. Use most tool with snap mode on the snap surface on body area. Turn off snap mode. You can add a surface node with handle. Use the extrapolate tool to extend all surfaces. Use trim tool to form a closed body. Adding fillet. After reverse engineering is done, Use Compare tool to do final check of surface quality. Mm -hmm.